Hey guys, in this video, we're going to test the best bike pump you can buy right now. I made this checklist based on my personal opinions and study time, and I've listed them based on the security and pricing features. I've included the options for each type of consumer, so you can easily verify this best bike pump for yourself or your family. We always try to provide customers with informative ideas so that they can easily verify any product. If you would like more information and would like to set an updated price on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description below. A first choice, the Top Peak Joe Blue Sport 3 provides exceptional performance and an excellent price point. It's well constructed, accurate and easy to use. All the things to look for in a bike pump. Both attachment and detachment are simple, clear and require a minimal amount of muzzle engagement. Inflation speed is fast and smooth, feeling practically same at the 100 psi it does at 20. An impressive fit for sure. Overall, this pump balances price and performance extraordinarily well to the point we had to recognize it with top honors. The O's on the Sport 2 is quite short at the base, while good looking didn't wow us in the stability department. That said, the design is robust enough to handle a tumble from time to time. At number 2, the Crank Brothers Gem is not the most affordable pump in this review, but it's very reasonably priced and performs well in all our tests. A combo we can't help but recognize. It uses a smart mix of metal and plastic, and this combination makes it a better value than the other low-cost models we tested. An especially interesting feature is the unique HP HP switch, which allows the user to change on dime between high volume or high pressure setting. Depending on the type of tire and the PSI they are aiming to reach, the switch works well and makes this pump operate almost like two pumps in one. The biggest downfall of the gem is the pump head, which is separate holes for Presta and Scrado valves next to each other on the same side. Not a design our testers generally enjoy using. At number 3, the Airgun X1000 is an ideal buy for anyone new to cycling. Due to its extreme user friendliness, no matter what kind of valve you have, even if you don't know there are different valve types, there are just one attachment point to worry about. It works without letting hardly any air escape. There's also an air bleed valve if you get overzealous with your pumping and pressure accuracy is top notch. If you are on the hunt for something that's both affordable and easy to use, this is a great option to keep on your shot list. We wish the holes on the Hex 1000 were a bit longer that the gorge was a bit more readable. Stability also isn't the best as there is some wobble when pumping and the shape of the base isn't quite sturdy enough to prevent topple from happening. Nothing is mind blowing about this pump but it does everything it should simply, effectively and at a great price. At number 4, with tubeless tires becoming more common in recent years, more and more riders are discovering that installation is a bit more complicated than with a traditional tube tire. Tubeless tires require a sudden blast of air to seat the tire bead onto the rim and typically require an air compressor to do the job. The Top Peak Joe Blow booster functions in the same manner as a regular flow pump but also features an additional high pressure air chamber that can be charged and released in the much the same way as a noisy, corded, expensive air compressor. Construction is top notch. There's a stable base with a 59 inch hose, giving you much more flexibility for inflating tires and fine tuning the inflation pressure is a breeze. At number five, the Lazen Steel Flow Drive Pump has a sleek, sexy look to it. Simultaneously classic, and modern, which screams quality. It reminds us of something we'd see in our grandparents' garage. Aside from some moderate gorge accuracy issues, this pump is also an excellent performer in our test. Due to high pressure it's capable of delivering, it is well suited to pumping very high pressure tires, like for track and road races, and it still delivers reliably for lower pressure mountain bike tires as well. Overall, it's a strong performer that looks great, is durable 
and people love using it. We hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Until next time, have a nice day.